let's start with the reading cancer this reading is for sun moon rising and venus sign we're going to look into the energies around you right now and their potential implications in the future for cross watchers keep in mind that energies go both ways so please take the messages as the best resonate to you let's see how you are feeling right now the main energy around you and what's coming up for you and how it's going to evolve in the near future energy at the bottom of the deck is judgment and this is a really good energy to have here because overall what you see happening around you uh, regarding this situation that we're going to look into is going to be a very beautiful progression here you are letting go of something and becoming someone new either you or the situation itself overall is progressing to a better version of it and here we see how you are able in this situation to be your true self to not having to maybe play games or trying to be someone who you're not you're able to find yourself in an environment where you feel home you feel protected and overall you feel happy so let's see how this message relates to the rest of the reading let's see how you are feeling right now all right so up here we have the knight of wands and the two of cups reversed what i'm sensing looking at these two cards immediately is that you are perhaps seeing or about to see someone who brings a lot of passion into your life but when it comes to actually build something with this person it feels like they're not really up for it at least yet so the knight of wands is showing us someone who feels very passionate right here we see unexpected events this person messaging messaging you out of the blue or showing up at your door uh, inviting you at the last minute to places or to their house or just wanting to show you that passion uh, all, of, all of a sudden without actually following uh, logic without saying for example waking up in the morning and sending you the good morning message and then working their way up to this no this is just all of the sudden uh, beautiful and passionate energy someone who now tells you i'm so impatient to see you i want to see you right now i want to see you right away and here you're thinking why why haven't you told me this morning or yesterday so that we could have planned for this so i'll be honest with you it feels a little bit like a someone who just wants to have fun especially with the two of cups i do see this person not really investing long term and keep in mind that we have the judgment right there main energy which means that this situation is going to be different is going to evolve into the better better version of the situation itself but for now we see what it's what it's coming from and we see someone who brings a lot of passion but who overall at the end of the day is not there to really get to know you to be in this for the romance side of it as well the love you know here is about passion and action but where is the love with the two of cups you usually have that mutual attraction respect perfect pairing passionate and devoted lover lover but when this card is reversed and said we see an emotional block we see a union that could be happening but eventually turns out to be disrupted what you have when this card is reversed is a question and the question asks are you putting enough energy into this relationship and it's clear here that the energy keeps being spilled out which means that you're feeling as though this person is there to have fun but not there to actually collect water emotions into these two cups so since the judgment is there i hope we're going to see a change there in you in this person in this relationship let's see what's coming up for you you know what the change comes from you 
And this is the most important thing to do now, to analyze now, because perhaps it's going to take you to a different outcome. But what we see here is, first of all, the hangman reversed. As you might know, when we see this card, at times we have someone who is stuck. And the reason why they're stuck, it's not because of external circumstances. It's because they are doing something that puts them there. They decide to be there because they think that by uh, not making any move, by not taking any action, they will see what they want to see finally happening around them. This is learning by just taking this intentional pause, achieving by not doing anything at all. In other words, you might have thought, you know what, if I stay there, uh, if I do this with them, eventually maybe they will realize that that two of cups should be upright. But now this is reversed. You are deciding to not be there anymore to get out of the situation, get out of your apartment, get out of this um, connection that it's still not giving you everything that you want. At least what you want to do here is trying it out to see if you focus on yourself, where would you get regarding this situation, but also in life, in your own happiness. And I do see here you transitioning into this Queen of Wands energy, which is a beautiful one to have. All of us should always feel like the Queen of Wands. And the reason why is because this person right here has very high standards, you know? She won't settle for less. She won't settle for something that is what she wants, just 50%. You know, the passion is important. The physical contact is absolutely important. But if you are at a point in life where you're looking for more, then you shouldn't put yourself in situations where you're going to be disappointed the morning after. It's clear that here you might be setting yourself for failure if you just get stuck into that situation. And right here, I just see you getting out of it, having fun with your friends, considering other options, going out there, being creative, standing up for yourself, and overall acting as though you don't need this person, acting as though you're confident and you don't have a sense of urgency. So what I'm seeing here is that by you doing this, not only you're doing something good for yourself, but also this other person, it's starting to create a new vision of you. Here, the judgment energy starts to kick in. We see, in fact, that this person has seen you as perhaps someone who they could have fun with. But now that maybe you are having fun, you're posting pictures of you with friends or doing things. And overall, you're not answering their messages right away. Again, back, going back to that, not having that sense of urgency, they are perceiving it too. And they're starting to think, hmm, maybe I want more. <laughs> it's, it's, I've seen it so many times, but now we clearly see that by not perceiving you as an, uh, an energy, a person who's always available to them, they're starting to realize that maybe they have a deeper attachment to it. And so let's see how this energy is evolving now in the near future. Three of Wands, Knight of Cups. Listen, Cancer, it's clear here that this person is going to come back and try their best to get your attention back on them. Now, we see how the Knight of Wands is coming back as the Knight of Cups. Look at that. Letting go of the passion, although it still brings passion, but not as the main energy. Now the main energy element essence is the cups. And the cups is exactly what you were missing here. They know what they have done. They know that they were treating you like someone good for a night. And then eventually they would just disappear or not be consistent with the communication. But right now they're changing the tune. They're changing the song. <laughs> they are wanting to approach this in a different way. 
Three of Wands is telling me that this person is about to get out of their comfort zone and is about to manifest something, to propose something to you, perhaps. They're still acting from that passionate uh, place that they have inside of them. Three of Wands, it's releasing energy, acting impulsively, but at the same time, getting out from their comfort zone, which could be that Nine of Wands, and try something new, new territories, leaving that safe place and maybe meet, meet you halfway. So what are they planning to do there? Let's look into that Three of Wands and let's see what are they wanting to do in order to make you feel like now you are dealing with the Knight of Cups, not a Knight of Wands. How are they going to get your attention back? How are they going to behave right now? What are they going to do? And what are their intentions? We see that they want this. They want to connect with you once again. But what they really want out of this connection. Let's see how this relationship will evolve in the near and distant future. If you would like to support the channel and hear the rest of the messages, just follow me in the extended video by clicking on the link down below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every week I randomly select viewers that have watched the extended video to offer them a free personal 30 minute reading. Stay tuned for the extended preview and some more content made just for you. Welcome back to your extended reading cancer. We have seen here someone who initially didn't realize how beautiful, unique and actually important to them you were. They were focused on the physical side of this connection and mainly because they are extremely attracted to you. They really feel like you check all the boxes for them. You really seem as though you are their perfect match physically. And since that was so strong, they stopped there. They didn't explore anything else until they saw you changing. They saw you not always being there available to them. With the Seven of Swords, I start thinking that this person was already starting to develop feelings for you, but they were keeping them to themselves for reasons that we will find out later in the reading. I, I will look into that Seven of Swords. But what we see right now is that by you changing your behavior, your approach, they are starting to realize that if they don't hurry up, they're going to lose you. And so right here, we start seeing them changing their element from wands to cups and planning for something here, maybe by the beach, candlelight. Let's see what this is going to be about. Let's see with the three of wands what this person is planning to do. And then we will look into their intentions. <laughs> wow, you get the world, the lover and the star. And the six of wands, wow. This person is really...